Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a cheap and easy DIY CO2 scrubber. All right, so there's only really a few components we need. And um, the first one, of course, is uh, the filter cartridge housing itself. I was fortunate enough to pick this up from my local fish shop. He was uh, almost throwing them away at $5 each, so I grabbed uh, every one that he had. Now, you can pick these up on eBay. Um, they're pretty cheap, pretty basic, or you probably even find them at Bunnings or whatever. The only thing you really need to watch for, it doesn't need to be clear. It's handy if it's clear, because you can see the media inside, but it's not necessary. You wanna make sure it has one of these uh, universal refillable cartridges inside, um, and if it doesn't, you're gonna need to get one of those separately. The next thing you're gonna need is um, obviously some media. Um, I use softener lime. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, I went in with a couple of buddies and bought nine kilos of this online. Um, when I say I bought nine kilos, it actually comes in two four and a half kilo tubs, um, which is a lot of media. Um, it cost me about $100 delivered to get that much. So you're talking almost $10 a kilo. Um, if that helps you split it up between your buddies, that um, is a good way of working it out. The reason why I like to split it up with my buddies is because it does have a shelf life and this one goes off uh, the end of 2020. So there's no use buying a 10 year supply if it um, only lasts about a year on the shelf. And last but not least, you're gonna need um, some connectors and some piping or hosing to connect this uh, filter housing up to your skimmer. So depending on the size of hosing you've got, I'd probably rather go the larger size um, piping. So once we put our media in here, we're gonna need a way to get this connected up to our skimmer. Now, the inlet is gonna be where the air gets breathed in and then goes through the media. The outlet is where we're gonna screw this on and then we're then gonna connect our skimmer to that. I'll show you in a second, but basically what I do is I replace the uh, silencer on the skimmer with this. So I just connect that hose that would go to the silencer onto there and we're good to go. So uh, let's get our hands dirty and set this up. All right, so it's really pretty simple to put together. We um, need to open up this housing take this universal cartridge out, take the top off. You notice it's got a little uh, seal along the top there which uh, seals it up nice and tight against there so that the uh, air coming in has to go down through the bottom and back up through here to get through the outlet. Now, you can either leave that foam in there or take it out. I'm gonna leave it in. This should always remain dry so it shouldn't really be a problem. And then I just grab my media and uh, tip it in. I tend to uh, fill the unit up, you don't have to. You could go halfway if you wanted to. But uh, when you buy the media at that kind of cost, let's uh, use as much as we can. So there's our cartridge full of softener lime, ready to pull out that CO2 from before it entering our uh, skimmer. Sit that in the housing. Screw that lid down, you should feel it tighten up onto the um, silicon. And then last but not least, I've got uh, my uh, John Guest fitting with a little bit of a uh, hose and I'm gonna screw that on the outlet. All right, now what we need to do is go take the uh, silencer off our skimmer. Well, take, grab the hose that goes to the silencer, connect onto there, and you'll be able to hear the air getting drawn in through this uh, inlet instead. And uh, the meteor then will be pulling the CO2 out of any air entering the skimmer. All right, so if I was to hook it up to this skimmer here, which is uh, in desperate need of a clean, as you can see, all I would do is grab uh, the hose here that comes, uh, that comes from the volute, goes up into the uh, air silencer, and you might be able to hear when I take it off. You can hear that's, uh, that's why the silence is there because it uh, makes things a lot more quiet. And then literally all I'll do is put that into our uh, CO2 scrubber and that's now drawing air through here, which you may be able to hear. But it's um, now drawing air through there. It works really well as an effective silencer and obviously pulls the um, CO2 media out as, or the CO2 from the uh, air as well. Um, obviously that's a pretty uh, agricultural install. What I would really do is uh, these, um, these filter housings, you can see we've got four screws up here. They usually come with a lovely uh, L bracket, which would allow me to fit that somewhere in my cabinet. 
and I'd extend this hose and have that sitting somewhere nice so that um, I could easily visually and see the media. Some of the medias have uh, color changing beads, uh, some of them don't, but just have it obviously somewhere it's not sitting there, but for the purpose of this demonstration, that should do the trick. All right, guys, that's uh, pretty much the end of this video. Um, that's how I go about making a uh, CO2 scrubber for my skimmers. Filter housing cost me five bucks. The media cost me probably about five, six dollars per fill. Um, the fittings I already had laying around because I bought a bulk of, um, used a lot of eBay, including the hosing. But uh, even if I was to replace everything brand new, it'd probably be talking, um, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks uh, to set that up. And uh, I got a few skimmers on a few tanks, so uh, I, buy in bulk and uh, run them all at the same time. And uh, whilst I don't measure pH, which is, I know, naughty, um, I have seen some positive improvements um, since installing these skimmers probably about 12 months ago, or these uh, skimmer filters, I guess, um, about 12 months ago. So um, for the minimal amount of effort, the minimum amount of dollars, um, I highly recommend them. Um, only, I guess the only downside would be, it's another thing in your cabinet. Um, if you don't have some of the things like the uh, fittings or the hosing, or um, if you've got to buy all the media yourself, if you're unlucky and don't have any reefing buddies, I guess it could get a little expensive, but um, that's the only downside I could uh, really think of. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about how to make your own um, DIY CO2 scrubber, be sure to pop them in the comments section down below. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, um, a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, if you subscribe and hit that bell notification, I'd uh, really appreciate it. Thanks guys, bye.